Hey y'all, it's Stacy with southernbite.com. We're back in the kitchen today making my slow cooker spaghetti sauce. Now we have quite a few ingredients here, but don't worry because all we're gonna do is dump these in the slow cooker and let this kitchen workhorse do all the work. A few minutes in the morning, you come home to supper that's ready. All you gotta do is cook a little pasta. I've given us a head start by browning two pounds of ground chuck. Now, one thing that I always tell people to do is when you hear things like brown the ground beef, you actually wanna get some brown color on it. We're not just cooking it through because if we do that, we're missing an opportunity for flavor. So let that beef sit in the skillet and actually get brown, right? That's gonna give us some more flavor. And I've opted for chuck in this case because anytime that we hit, we're using ground beef that's gonna be cooked for a little bit, Having more fat is gonna ensure that it stays moist and tender and isn't gonna dry out. We're gonna add this to our slow cooker here. You can also spray your slow cooker with some non-stick cooking spray. It helps make the cleanup process a little bit easier. We're gonna add one onion that's been finely diced. I've got two cloves of garlic here that have been minced. Move into our tomatoes. I've got a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I've got a 15 to 18 ounce can of tomato paste. The size of that can varies based on brand. I've got a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Moving to our spices, I've got a teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. A teaspoon of dried basil. I've got two teaspoons of a, an Italian blend, dried blend, a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I know this sounds crazy. It's not gonna taste like it. It just gives it a super rich flavor. I've got a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna stir this together and all the hard work is done. Now let's talk about a few of these ingredients. You can see that this makes a lot of spaghetti sauce, right? When you get home, taste it. If you find that it's a little sweet for your taste, add a teaspoon or two of something like apple cider vinegar. That will help calm the sweetness a little. If you find that um, it's a little too astringent or too tart for you, a little more sugar will help calm that flavor down. Now, as with anything in the slow cooker, you wanna be cautious about lifting this lid off and stirring too frequently. As this cooks, it's a moist heat environment. And so when we pull that lid off, we're letting that heat out. Anytime you do that, you probably need to add somewhere like 20 to 30 minutes to your cook time. We're gonna cook this on low for about eight hours. Come home, cook the pasta of your choice and dinner's ready. Now this makes a lot. So you can also package this up in freezer safe containers or bags and freeze it for another night. Y'all, this is a great weeknight meal. It makes putting supper on the table super simple. You can get this recipe and hundreds more on my website at southernbite.com. Y'all enjoy. Now Mary, I've loved spaghetti ever since I called it biscotti. <laughs> <laughs> this sauce is as good as any traditionally made sauce I've tried. A special thanks to the Alabama Cattlemen's Association, both for sponsoring the recipe and for the group's members that provide us with all that great beef. And if you didn't catch all the ingredients during the show, that's all right. Just search for slow cooker spaghetti sauce at southernbite.com. And while you're there, you're sure to find lots of other great recipes that'll tickle your taste buds. Well, Mary, when it's time to go out to eat, most folks choose a restaurant based on the quality of the food. Next week on Simply Southern, we'll visit with a group of artisans who focus on the beauty of the table setting. And we'll show you how you can temporarily leave the hustle and bustle of the city for the quiet of a farm through a vacation booking website. Thanks for watching Simply Southern today. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you next week. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.